If I say springtime and you think allergies instead of blossoms, you might be missing the point. If I say kiss and you think germs instead of romance, you are definitely missing the point. Yet this distorted view frames our discussion of energy today. Most of the time, we don't think about energy at all. And when we do, it's for negative reasons. We hear the word energy and think of Saudi billionaires and SUVs, oil spills and radiation, high gas prices and climate change. In a world of fear-driven headlines, that's understandable, but it too misses the point. Energy is not a problem to be managed. Energy is a solution to be harnessed. Abundant affordable energy is nothing less than the basis of our civilization and the fountainhead of human progress. Yet our policies today threaten energy's abundance and affordability. Most of these policies thrive on public ignorance. Through our research at AEI, we're trying to combat some of that public ignorance. And one of the first things to understand is <clears throat> not what energy is, but what it does. Energy is the, literally the fuel of human flourishing. For most of history, it was mankind's burden. From dawn till dusk, most human energy was spent obtaining energy in the form of food and fire. Today, it is mankind's blessing. Energy reduces human drudgery. Energy frees time for study, worship, and play. Energy extends our days and softens the harsh edges of hot summers and cold winters. Energy increases human mobility, opportunity, and wealth while reducing the threat of disease. And it's not just when you flip the switch or hit the gas. When you sit down for a meal, you're consuming energy, not just the calories in the food, but the wave of energy that brought it to your plate, the energy that grew your food, kept it from decaying, and cooked it for you. Did you wipe down a countertop with a spritz of pine-scented disinfectant? Did you snatch a bit of hand sanitizer when you left the bus? All that cleanliness comes from energy. Shampoo, for example, is derived from oil, as is the bottle and the ink used to print on the labels. Energy is also at the root of our technology. The cell phones that save lives and keep us in touch with our loved ones consume an endless flow of energy. And medical devices such as dialysis machines that save millions of lives each year all represent a vast flux of energy. We Americans, for the most part, take energy for granted. We might grouse at the cost, but we're pretty confident that when we flip a switch or turn a valve, the energy will flow. But that's not true in much of the world. In the developing world, billions live in dire energy poverty, with not even enough power to run a single light bulb. Even in developed countries such as the United Kingdom and the United States, many people on fixed incomes, such as senior citizens and pensioners, face a hard choice between heating their homes in the winter or eating. That's a choice no one should have to make. And no one would if we got smarter about our energy policies. Get the facts and get the point. Follow AEI's video series on energy literacy and learn more by going to AEI.org.